Hi there, it's Porik here from Attitudes. Um, hello again. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Had some real life stuff to do, some work to get done. But it's all done now. Um, and I'm back, but uh, a little bit different this time. I'm going to do some web design stuff. Um, show you some tips, tricks, and different tutorials on web design. But what I'm first going to do is show you how to put a basic website you know, design element together in Photoshop. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how to convert that into a HTML file. And again, another tutorial to bring it into Dreamweaver and make it ready for the web. So the first uh, tutorial today is just going to be on putting a basic website element together. I'm by no means an expert in this, by the way, but what I have done is taken the last few months to uh, learn some web design, and I've taken the stuff that's taken me a while to learn and hopefully teach you it in a tutorial that make it handier for you to learn. Again, the design today is not going to be the, the thing we're you know worried about. We're just going to put the concepts of a web page together. So we'd start. Um, I'm going to go to File. I'm in Photoshop CS5, I believe. And if you want to be in the same layout, I'm on Essentials. So we're going to go to File, New. And there's different layouts and stuff you can do. You can go to Web and choose one of the resolutions there. But um, yeah, I, I tend to just go um, into Web. And I, I I type in my own, which is 1,200 pixels. Make sure it's on pixels by 1,200 pixels. Okay, that's it. Now the background is locked, so I'm going to double left click to unlock that and call it BG for background. And now it's unlocked. And I'm going to pick a color for my background. You don't have to pick a color, as I say. This is just design elements, really. Let's let's go with maybe a a whitish design, maybe. Maybe black. Something like that, maybe. Okay. Now you've got your color picked. The tip number one for this tutorial is once your color is selected, press Alt and Backspace to fill. There you go. Alt and Backspace done. We're going to create another layer. And another, you know, essential element. Whoops. Another essential element of web design is the banner. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, there's tons of different ways of doing a banner for a web page. You know, you can have a circular bit here and then the rest going out. There's loads. I'm just going to show you the basic ones. Um, the basic ones that I do would be, um, let's just collect it, select the layer, would be, I'll first of all change the color to a slightly lighter than the current selected. Um, something like that, maybe. And then I'm just going to draw out a banner. Something like that. Okay. Now, just plain simple. I'd have my text, sorry, big pardon, logo on the left hand side, text, and then on the gap above on the right hand side, I'd have my Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube logos and stuff. It's up to you. Again, I'm just showing you the basic elements of how to put it together. But for this, I'm going to leave it like this for now. But there's also another way, alright, I'm going to undo that. You can also do the traditional banner, which would be something like this. You know, it's the same thing. You'd have your logo, text, and your icons, whatever, along here. Um, and if you want to, you can combine two. So you can do something like this, and then go into your rectangle tool and do an ellipse tool, and then just bring that element down into the web page as well. Okay? Something like that. So what you then do is you take this and you move it up, and you pull it into the middle, and you're going to end up with something like this. Okay? So there you have your kind of straight at the edge, but has a curve in the bottom where you can have your menu or whatever else. Again, it's all down to option and what you prefer, but I'm just showing you how to put the basic stuff together. Okay? But that's for now, I'm going to um, undo this. Control uh, Alt Z to undo. Okay? And I'm going to go with the first one I did, I think, for this, which is rectangle tool, and do it about there. And I'm going to just shift that up just a little bit. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to create a new. Um, a new layer, and we're going to call this logo. Okay, because you need your logo on the left-hand side. Now go into your brush tool. Okay, and up the top here, you see a drop-down box. Drop down and select a brush. Now, as I say, for logos, you can do it any way you like. Use a brush and try and draw on screen. But if you're terrible at you know drawing on screen like that, like myself, then you can cheat. <laughs> And basically, I'm using brushes here to create a logo, but I'm using various brushes to, to, to get the effect. 
Now I could go along and take a, an arrow pointing to the right or in left and use that if I'm a transport company. You basically pick the brush that suits what your website is about, you know, and suits what you're doing there. As I say, the the the, the whole thing is is to get, you know, what you like and you know what or else what you think your person you're designing the website would like. Now I'm gonna change the colour and I'm gonna bring it up another shade of brown, maybe two shades of brown. And you see if I click in here, I click a few times I get this kind of windy element. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and change my brush and I'm going to pick there's tons of brushes free online, just go into Google and hit, you know, type up free um Photoshop brushes. I'll give you instructions and everything there. Or you could say you could go in for something like this, you know, just do your basic arrow. Or you can, you know, combine them or something to make your own logo. It's really up to you and it's it's a great tool for making and designing logos is the brush tool. So anyway, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is go for one of the circular ones I have here. Uh, I have some more interesting ones up here. Let's see this one around them. And I'm going to make it nearly the full size of the banner. And I'm going to actually undo that. I did it too many times. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to right click on the logo now that I've got the logo I like. And go to blending options. And I'm going to do a outer glow. Okay. I'm going to change the outer glow to white. And I'm going to bring the opacity up full and I'm going to bring the size up a little bit too so it's just gives a little bit of a glow I like doesn't matter if it overstretches onto the other page that's all makes it you know can make the element even look much better like this you know you have a nice little glow around there or just bring it back and you know just have it noticeable or whatever you like yourself as I say this just design element so now you've got your logo done um, taking the time you know you can take the time to work on that more but I'm just trying to go through it so I'm gonna switch to make a new layer and I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'm gonna click up here um, and I'm gonna call this let's say we'll call this um, safe company right I probably spelled that wrong too I'm gonna highlight that and bring the size up even more Okay, and I'm going to change the color to that white that's in there. Okay, because you're keeping the theme that way. Now I'm going to go in and change font, but I don't know which font I want, so I'm going to click into the actual box. And I think that there kind of goes with the retro feel the page has at the moment, so I'm going to keep this right here. I'm going to bring this up, you can bring this in here, you know, you can bring it down here, over here, whatever you like. I'm just going to bring this here. Okay. So again, we're just bringing the basic elements together. We're not worrying about how exactly how nice it looks. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to rename this layer and call it E O T T O M, as in bottom, and then con bottom content. Okay, click that. Now we need a menu. Um, we need a menu here, but we're not going to worry, worry about that for the moment because I want that to be show you that in, in a little bit. For a while, I'm going to work on what should be down here. Um, there's a few ways you can do this. On the left hand side you can have menu navigation and then on the right you can have your pictures and text. Um, or you can do it the way, kind of the most simple traditional way of doing it is I suppose. I'm keeping the retro team. I'm going to use this. And on the bottom I'm going to make a box like this. And on the top here I'm going to type um, welcome. Okay. I'm going to change the font. Maybe something to maybe something like Arial. Arial narrow. Okay. So I've changed that to welcome. Um and I'm going to blending options and I'm going to level on boss. That's kind of the only look I'm looking for. So again now that has that feature. Now I'm gonna go into uh text new new layer. Right? and you don't have to rename this because it'll change to the text that you're typing anyway so underneath the welcome I'm just gonna make a box like this and I filled some garbage text in which is me just mashing the keyboard and I'm just filling this in now and as you say the contrast of the colors you know it makes it nice but the text is a little too big so I'm gonna hit control A and I'm gonna bring the text down to 24 perfect that's just nice now I'm gonna go back to the select tool. And I'm going to line this up with the W and you can use your arrow keys to fine tune this, you know, get it where you want it. 
Um, and now you have your basic welcome, your basic text saying welcome you to the page, welcome to the website, this is what we do, this is what you can do on the website. Um, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this services. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a text tool and we're going to do the following. Okay. I'm going to go up to the top and we just type services. Okay, just just a, again, just a different element of you know what you can do. I'm going to do a minus sign, and I'm going to do you know just I'm just typing garbage here. Safe cracking, and then a minus sign. Um, damage reduction. I'm just typing them when first thing comes to my head. Okay, probably spelled wrong too, so don't worry about that. Um, sales. Safe. Repairs and collections. Okay, now we're going to take the word services and just bring it up a size bigger. Okay, and then we're going to take the text with the light on it and we're going to change the color. I think I want more of a white with this. Keep the retro theme from the color above. Okay, now we have all that in one layer, so we can drag this and bring this across to here. Okay, and you see the way now it's not just text, it's kind of broken down into what services they offer on the right hand side. So I think that's nice to put down so that people can at a quick glance see what services your website can offer. It's just an option, just a design element, as I say, to you know, see if you want it. Now, again, I'm going to make another layer, and I'm going to make a text, select the text tool. I'm going to make another box, but this time fill nearly the whole screen. I'm going to copy paste in the garbage I put in before. Okay? I'm going to hit Control A, bring the size down to one, to raise down one size. And there you go. Now, as I say, this looks terrible because it's just, you know, random letters mashed on the keyboard. But if you have this typed out to the way you want it, you know, this is going to make sense and it's going to look nicer. You can pick your colors. Essentially, what I wanted to do was to show you the elements of a web page, and this is what we've done. Let me show you. Okay, the background. We made a new page. We unlocked the background by double clicking, renaming it BG, and we added the color brown. Okay. Next, we made a banner. And we showed you, I showed you a few different ways of making a banner, and, and you know what styles you can do. So that's the banner there. Okay. Then we made the logo. I showed you how you can go into the brush tool in Photoshop, select different brushes or download them and get tons of different designs and use them, either combine them or use one particular brush to make a logo. Using blending options we added an outer glow, as you can see there, underneath the word logo. And then we magnified the outer glow and gave it that kind of nice shiny look. At that stage, we decided to go to retro design, so we called the company Safe Company and gave it that kind of you know wacky look, wacky uh, font. And again, text is there, logo is there. We then came on and we decided to fill in the bottom content. We started off with a welcome button, then we added the garbage text, which would be you know you're welcome to the website, and then we added the services thing, this thing here, which is a great way of showing people what you know they can expect to get from coming to your website you know and I just typed in random things there to make it look good and show you what you can do with that then we added in the bottom uh, part, bigger part in the welcome text and then we added in the bottom okay now all that essentially is a web design done except we're missing the menu we're missing how to actually make people navigate around the page so we're going to create, we're going to click on the top layer and we're going to create a new layer and we're going to call this menu. Okay. I'm going to open up your text, change your color. I'm going to suggest um, a nice bright white. You can change it to anything you like, really. And I'm going to bring the color down to about, uh, sorry, size down to about 10. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click where you want your menu to appear. I'm going to want a horizontal, so I'm going to start here. And I'm going to type in capital letters home, then four spaces, uh, about, one, two, three, four, contact, one, two, three, four, services, one, two, three, four, 
um, order. One, two, three, four, and um, info. Just randomly type stuff. Now we're gonna highlight all that, and we're gonna bring the font, uh, break print the font size up. Okay. So depending on what font you have, the size will mean different things. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this up to thirty. Okay. Now I'm gonna line this up to the right. Kind of gives it a nicer look, I think. And there we have our menu button done, which is essentially the way people navigate around the page. Now we're going to do a bit more with this because first of all I don't think that font works for a, a, a menu. So I'm going to highlight it all, click at the font, and I'm going to I want to get kind of a sharp there, a nice sharp image. Okay, that's BM deep blue. I want to make the size bigger now because that's a little small. Perfect. And in blending options, I want to give it its own little identity so it's easy to see. And I think, like for the logo, an outer glow might work for a different color. So we, we give it a different color, maybe a kind of a, a kind of a browny white, or maybe even up to white. Something there. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to give it a, um, uh, sorry, a drop shadow. And we're going to drop shadow up there. And we're going to bring the distance down and then the size. And you see that creates, if you can see that on the screen, it creates a little kind of a shaded area, which I think looks nice. So that's really it. You can mess around to get what you like yourself, but I like that kind of a black, you know, shade around the text. It gives it a nice defined kind of name. So there you go, there's the basic elements of a web page put together. Now you might say, well that's just an image. It might be layers, but it's layered up to, to be an image. Well, that's kind of true, but not true. Because in Photoshop CS5, I, I believe it's not in earlier versions, um, you can use tools, a uh, slice tool and different tools to actually get this image as it is right now into a fully functioning web page. And it doesn't take that much. For now, I'm going to stop there. Um, I've shown you in the layers with exactly what we did to get to this final thing. As I say, this isn't about how good or bad the design is. This is just to kind of show you how to put the elements of the design together. It's up to you to design and, you know, what you think works. Well, I hope that's helped. In the next tutorial, I will be doing a bit on how to take all the information on the page we have right here now. And we're going to basically um, convert it into HTML. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. And then the tutorial after that probably will be the same one, but anyway, it'll be a different tutorial showing you how to bring that into Dreamweaver and you know make it a finished product, make it a fully fledged web page, ready to be uploaded to your you know free web web page or to your you know domain whatever. I hope this has been of help. Um, I want to let you know by the way that if you haven't got a clue what you're doing still, if you want a template to work on, I've included two free templates on my website, which is www.edituds.com. Link is in the description. You can download two templates there at the moment. Um, I have the basic elements design done for them. All you have to do is fill in the, you know, the, the buttons and the different things, your name. And again, now that you know how I work with my layers, you can know that, for example, keep clicking on the layers and clicking the eye on and off, and that will show you what you know you're editing. And then once you click that and edit, you know you can change it around to suit it yourself. So don't forget, go to www.edituds.com and uh, download the free templates. There's a forum there at the moment. Go and register and introduce yourself. And uh, Just browse around the page and um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, two free templates there at the moment. Different designs. Hope you like them and I'll see you next time.